Hey developers, ready to supercharge your workflow? Today we're diving deep into the top trending open source dev tools that are revolutionizing how we build. Forget tedious setups and endless boilerplate. These projects are designed to save you hours, maybe even days of development time. From boosting your full stack app launches faster and smarter, to crushing Android development drudgery and making Redis integration smooth, scalable, and future-proof, we're exploring the powerhouses that let you build faster, smarter, and more efficiently. Let's get started. Welcome back to Manu AGI Tutorials. Here, we explore the exciting world of AI, latest AI tools for you, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the latest AI insights. So let's start today's video. Project number one, Chad Next, the ultimate all-in-one Next.js starter kit that boosts your dev flow. Chad Next is not just another starter template, it's a developer's time-saving powerhouse. What makes it truly unique is how it bundles together a robust, modern tech stack into one polished boilerplate, letting you skip the boring setup and dive straight into building your app. First off, it embraces the latest Next.js app router, paired with TypeScript for safety and Tailwind CSS for styling, giving you a rock-solid foundation out of the box. But Chad Next doesn't stop there. It layers in Shad CDN UI components, built on Radix UI and styled with Tailwind, to give you beautiful accessible UI blocks you can copy, paste, and customize instantly. Need authentication? Chad Next has Lucia Auth v3 built in for secure user login and authorization flows. Database work? It uses Prisma ORM with Postgres hosted on Versal Postgres, so you can interact with your data effortlessly. File uploads are handled elegantly via upload thing with built-in previews, and it even includes resend plus react email for sending emails, another setup task already done for you. Multilingual support is seamless, thanks to type-safe internationalization with Next International. On top of that, Chad Next includes Stripe integration, letting you process payments without lifting a finger. And it offers components like a change log and about page, manage via Veli and Markdown, perfect for documenting your project real-time. Beyond features, Chad Next is recognized in the community as a fully equipped boilerplate for modern web apps, tailored to startups, SaaS, or content platforms. It's praised for giving developers a solid foundation from day one, authentication, database file uploads, multilingual support, payments all wrapped in a clean, production-ready setup. In short, Chad Nex's uniqueness is in its thoughtful bundling of production-grade tools and integrations into a single open-source template that saves you hours, maybe even days of setup time. It's a script-ready winner for your YouTube video. Present Chad Next as the smart, feature-rich boost developers need to launch full-stack apps faster and smarter. Project number two, Prexocore, your Kotlin toolkit to crush Android boilerplate, one liner at a time. Prexocore is not just another Android library, it's a developer's dream come true. What makes it unique is its pure Kotlin-first design that strips away endless extra code, replacing bloated XML, tedious recycle viewer adapters, permission dialogues, and even text-to-speech setup with expressive one-liners, so everything feels natural, readable, and nimble. This toolkit is context-aware, meaning it works flawlessly, whether you're inside a context activity or fragment, no awkward workarounds needed. It safeguards against common UI pitfalls by including safe defaults, like debounced clicks, single toast messages, and leak-proof behavior, making your interactions more reliable by default. With Prexocore, tasks that typically span 10 or more lines become a single clean expression, show an alert with alert title message, OK, send a toast with safe toast one toast at a time, or wire up recycle VUAs with minimal fuss using Resovaku adapter. It's like having a Swiss army knife of UI and system utilities, dialogues, navigation, input prompts, keyboard changes, permission handling, even markdown parsing and share dialogues, all bundled into one streamlined toolkit. It also covers media features with ease, reliable text-to-speech, speech input listening, image loading, view animations, and even utilities like dialing a number or reading internal files, all wrapped in simple readable Kotlin extension functions. Plus, it's smart about real-world pain points, handling double clicks, safe looping, network status monitoring, keyboard visibility and more, so you spend less time wiring boilerplate and more time building features. In short, Prexocore stands out because it's an all-encompassing, expressive, and safe-to-use Kotlin toolkit that eliminates Android development drudgery. It transforms tasks that once felt repetitive and heavy into smooth one-line productivity moments. Project number three, Midday. 
the all-in-one business assistant for freelancers. Midday is special because it takes all the scattered, tedious tasks that solo entrepreneurs usually juggle, like tracking time, sending invoices, organizing receipts, and storing documents, and brings them together into one smooth, unified experience. Instead of hopping between apps for time tracking, spreadsheet exports, and file storage, Midday gives you a single, coherent workspace, almost like having a built-in assistant that just gets your freelance business. What really sets Midday apart is its magic inbox. It listens for incoming invoices or receipts and smartly matches them to the right transactions, taking one big headache off your plate. And if you're someone who dreads organizing contracts or receipts, its secure vault keeps everything safe and searchable in one place. No more lost PDFs buried in downloads. Midday goes further by offering actual business insight. It gives you a clear financial overview, letting you see your revenue, expenses, and profit at a glance, and even lets you connect to over 20,000 banks across the US, Canada, UK, and Europe to bring all your accounts into one unified view. Bonus, exporting that data for your accountant? Just a click. Midday neatly packages everything into CSVs you can easily share. It's also highly interactive thanks to its built-in assistant. Just ask it things like, what's my burn rate, or show me last month's spending, and it responds, turning your business numbers into clear answers. Midday is open source too, an open invitation for transparency and community collaboration. It embraces real feedback, builds in public, and shares its code to help everyone benefit. Plus, people clearly appreciate it. One user called it a modern layer on top of QuickBooks slash Xero that helps automate the annoying parts of running a business. Redditors in the dev community often highlight Midday as a clean, real-world example of Next.js in action. Midday is the smart assistant that brings everything under one roof, from time tracking and invoicing to smart receipts handling, financial insights, and a helpful assistant, all neatly packaged so freelancers can spend time doing what they love, not getting lost in admin. Project number four. GoRedis, the official high-performance Redis client for Go. GoRedis brings something truly special to the table. It's not just another Redis client for Go, it's the officially supported one, backed by the Redis organization itself. That status means it's constantly evolving to stay compatible with the latest Redis and Redis stack features, giving developers confidence they're building on a trusted foundation. What really sets GoRedis apart is its commitment to everyday developer needs, wrapped in a type-safe, easy-to-use API. It offers automatic connection pooling, so your application scales smoothly without you having to manage connections manually. It doesn't just work with standalone Redis, it also supports Redis Cluster, Sentinel, Ring Topology, Pub slash Messaging, Transactions, Pipelining, Scripting, and even probabilistic data types. On top of that, GoRedis delivers open observability out of the box. With open telemetry instrumentation, you can trace operations, collect metrics, and monitor performance seamlessly, right from your Go code. Another standout advantage is its wide compatibility across Redis versions. It supports the latest Redis versions, including 7.2, 7.4, 8.0, and 8.2, ensuring you can safely upgrade without having to worry about client-side compatibility. On the developer side, GoRedis shines with its strong community, stellar documentation, and active maintenance. It's not just popular, it's officially endorsed, which encourages contributions, faster updates, and more alignment with Redis's roadmap. All of this makes GoRedis uniquely powerful. It's a robust, developer-friendly, officially supported Redis client that delivers both performance and flexibility. If you're scripting content for a YouTube video, you'd highlight GoRedis as the tool that makes Redis integration in Go smooth, scalable, and future-proof, built for production use, with performance and visibility baked in. Project number five, Angular Components, the powerful UI toolkit behind Angular's visual magic. Angular Components brings together a carefully crafted set of UI building blocks and developer tools that truly set it apart. Unlike other component libraries, this project is officially created and maintained by the Angular team at Google, meaning you're getting top-tier quality and constant attention from the people who know Angular best. What makes Angular components stand out is that it's not just about ready-to-use Angular material elements. It also includes the Component Dev Kit CDK, a toolkit that provides flexible, unstyled interaction patterns that let you build your own custom components. This means you can get powerful behavior without being tied to a specific design, giving you both structure and creative freedom. 
Another part of what makes this project unique is how it serves a diverse range of needs through multiple specialized packages. Alongside CDK and Material, there are Angular wrappers for Google Maps and the YouTube Player, letting you integrate map views or media with ease, again with official support and polish. Moreover, this isn't just code, it's a well-structured ecosystem shaped by real developers. The team prioritizes accessibility, internationalization, performance, polished APIs, and comprehensive testing. That means the components are not only reliable and fast, but also usable by as many people as possible in the way they expect. Finally, it's deeply embedded in the broader Angular ecosystem. With close ties to the Angular framework, ongoing releases, the latest being version 20.1, 6 as of August 14, 2025, and nearly a million dependent projects on GitHub, it's both cutting-edge and battle-proven. Project number six, Claude Code Z integration, bringing Claude Code's AI power right into the Z editor. This project stands out because it bridges the gap between Z, a fast modern code editor, and Claude Code, an AI assistant that deeply understands your entire code base. What makes it unique is how it creates a seamless link between the two, enabling Z users to tap into Claude's capabilities without leaving their editor. At its core, the integration consists of two parts, a Z extension, and a companion server. The Z extension, built in Rust and compiled to WebAssembly, watches what text you've selected and what files you're working on. It sends that context over to the companion server via the language server protocol LSP. This is the smart layer that handles interactivity between Z and Claude Code CLI. On the server side, running locally as a native Rust application, the companion server listens on a WebSocket, manages lock files for connecting to Claude Code CLI, and handles JSON RPC messages back and forth. This arrangement ensures that when you're working in Zed, you can highlight code or file path, and Claude Code immediately knows what you're referring to without leaving your editor. What really sets it apart is the real-time context-aware connection. Zed Claude communication happens instantly via WebSockets, so Claude understands exactly where you are and what you're highlighting. This makes the flow feel natural and powerful. The integration is open source and released under the MIT license, with a growing community and recent activity highlighting its relevance and ongoing development. In short, this tool is special because it brings Claude Code's smart, AI-powered coding assistant directly into Zed with real-time selection tracking, file awareness, and seamless context sharing. For your YouTube video script, pitch it as the solution that empowers developers to interact with Claude Code right from their editing environment, fast, intuitive, and deeply integrated. Project number seven, SVG Pan Zoom. Effortless interactive SVG navigation. Right in your browser, SVG Pan Zoom isn't just another zooming library. It transforms static SVGs into smooth, interactive experiences using just your browser controls. What sets it apart is its intuitive support for mouse scroll, double click and drag operations, instantly turning any inline SVG or embedded object into a dynamic canvas. Users can pan and zoom with ease, but that's just the start. What really makes SVG Pan Zoom stand out is its clean and flexible JavaScript API. You can hook into on-pan and on-zoom events and even add on-screen zoom controls to the mix. No wrangling needed. It works across major browsers without fuss and handles both embedded SVG elements and inline graphics gracefully. Another highlight is its support for extensibility. Want custom gestures like pinch to zoom or double tap? The library lets you swap in a custom events handler to accommodate those touch-first interactions. This gives you raw control, perfect for fine-tuning interactivity on mobile devices or complex touch interfaces. Developers appreciate how it handles transformations under the hood too. Rather than relying on manipulating the SVG VAC vines, which can be complex, the library applies smooth transform operations directly to the root SVG, delivering more predictable, visually consistent results. In essence, SVG Pan Zoom is unique because it delivers a polished, interactive experience with minimal setup. Drag, scroll, tap, or click, and your SVG becomes fully navigable. With its responsive controls, clean API, extensibility, and cross-browser reliability, it's an ideal choice for anyone looking to supercharge their SVGs for better user engagement. And that's a wrap on our journey through these incredible open-source innovations. We've seen how tools like Chadnext, Prexocore, Midday, GoRedis, Angular Components, Claude Code Z Integration, and SVG Pan Zoom are transforming development. 
Each project eliminates pain points, offering production-ready solutions that save you valuable time, whether building web apps, crushing Android boilerplate, or integrating AI. If you found this helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more developer insights, and tell me which tool you're most excited to try.